everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Place of Mining of Isaac Atrith Plus. Your boy cannot win a run with the Keeper. It's not- look- wait, this is the wrong... I was like, I am amazing. Look at all the things I've unlocked. We need Keeper wins. No doubt. Apollyon needs a Hush win. Eden needs a Mega Satan negative. Let's give it a try. I don't like seeing that minus there. Get that minus out of here. We got a Book of Revelations, NMJB, QHBH, with adequate stats, I would say. That's fine. The big advantage here, oh, actually, with like Spider Bite and Book of Revelations, is like you just rolled at least a 7 out of 10 in the item lottery. You might say it's a little bit of an underrating. I don't think so. You know what? 10 out of 10, we're looking at like Proptosis, Shoop to Whoop, or something like that. Book of Revelations, very good. Guarantees us more or less this first deal with the devil as long as we don't completely squander, you know, the gift we've been given. Um, and Spider Bite, it's a good item, but it's not a transformative item. It's a helpful item. Then you look at our stats and you go, speed's adequate, tears are adequate, damage maybe slightly above average, everything else. I mean, I'm happy to have a luck stat that's not negative. That's nice. It's a decent Eden start. We're going to try... Um, that's a speed upgrade as well. Um, we're going to try to finesse... You gave me four silkworms on a single button press? It's actually insulting, given the tenure that I'm supposed to have at this corporation that you would do that to me. Um, we're going to try to finesse a little uh, deal with the angel action here, because it would be a possibility for us to get an angel run going here, get a Mega Satan victory, and really clear off this post-it note as Eden if we get super lucky, but... We have to create that situation. Sometimes you don't even have to create the situation, you know? A Mega Satan run is like a pirate looking for treasure. You got a map. The map says X marks the spot. Just because there's an X on the map doesn't mean there's treasure on the island, you know? We can sculpt a, a run out of this that can go to Mega Satan, but only if a little nugget of Mega Satan exists on this run. And if it doesn't, well, we'll just have to be content having some fun and hopefully providing a little entertainment to those of you out there in YouTube land. Another Book of Revelations ready to go. Ramming speed is like... I mean, it adds to the 7 out of 10-ness of this run. I'm not talking a 7 out of 10 on the video game scale. I'm talking a 7 out of 10 on, like, the Harvard University admissions exam. An objective 7 out of 10. Not a, you know... A 7 out of 10 that's like, oh, it's actually like a 4, but we're not allowed to give 4s because the sponsors would rebuke us. All right, let's take our bomb. We got five bombs. Definitely not getting an arcade on the next floor, I'll tell you that much. Might be able to get lucky and get a uh, double dip there. We did indeed. We get Rusted Key. Far from a, a horrible trinket, but you know what? Guess what rating I'm going to give this? A little 7 out of 10. Cube of Meat, a little bit better than a 7. Don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot. Sylvester Stallone, stop or my mom will shoot, but I will not shoot. I'm a pacifist. Oh, you're a pacifist? Well, uh, why do you beat your meat then? Now, let's continue moving on here. Terrible dodge! Somehow did not get hit there, blessed by the god of dodging. Take an extra key. Hopefully, uh... I mean, we have to go inside of the deal with the devil in order to see what we're gonna get. But we probably want to say no to the deal with the devil so that we can, uh... Grab ourselves the best chance po that did not hit the portal, the spawner, if you will. Um, we got to ignore the deal that we get in order to get a deal with the angel, or at least have a chance to get a deal with the angel. If there's one tweak I can make in Isaac, at least until you get, like, real Platinum God, or all the posted enough filled out, uh, at least, it would be if you skip willingly the first deal with the devil it would give you a guaranteed deal with the angel on the next deal that you got because i just think it's kind of a ripoff that you could just you know ignore your first deal with the devil even if it's got great stuff in it and then next floor they're like oh surprise here's another deal with the devil it's like a muddied game design sort of get out of here spiders you're like a two out of ten enemy you're trying to step to me on my seven out of ten run it won't happen 
You will be destroyed. Okay. Another speed upgrade. Probably reaching the point in which it's irrelevant. Don't even give it a second thought. Don't even let the items that we saw in there enter your mind palace. You might be, oh, but there's mom's knife. There's a guppy item. You can get that cat transformation. Not necessary. We've already pushed it further from our mind. I can't wait to see what kind of angel items we're going to get in our angel room. Because that's the only thing that matters right now. Either way, we don't even need the trash that they tried to give us there. It's unnecessary. Look at that. It's unnecessary. Shears, lovely item. I'm going to... I mean, it's close. Because these are... It's a high quality item. I'm not going to lie to you. Shears could be a 10 out of 10. Also helps us out a lot at some of those late game bosses. You know what? I'll probably go Shears. It's more exciting than Book of Revelations. Book of Revelations, sure. To get a second, third, maybe even fourth level cube of meat would be nice, but... I think you probably roll Shears here, especially considering, you know, if we fight Hush, Shears is a huge help. If we fight Mega Satan, Shears is a huge help. Somehow that lowered my deal with... The, oh, because Book of Revelations gives you a better deal chance. Fair, 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 fair. Um, we got a decent timeline here, so let's just see if we can get super lucky. Two cents. I consider that roughly, like, around average. Maybe we can stack up some HP, like right here, for example. Not HP. No, don't even let it enter your mind palace. I don't need to know what items I'm skipping, because honestly, those items would be lucky to have us. You're doing great, sweetie. Let's move on. Let's remind ourselves, refresh our memory. Mega Satan, negative. All the way on the negative, though. You know what? There's a battery charge over here. Let's take advantage of this. Rusted key kind of paid for itself. Yeah, that was actually well worth it. Dare I say that the uh, quality of items that we got there was probably like roughly a 10 out of, or a 7 out of 10. Not a 10. That's ridiculous. You know what, I don't understand, I don't know if this debate still happens, but you know, there's a lot of arguments in the gaming industry all the time. Changes, like horse armor, 10 years ago we were arguing about horse armor. Oh, well, the Xbox has a Celeron processor, it's the only processor capable of rendering the dynamic lighting effects in Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell 1. The PlayStation 2 doesn't even have a cell architecture yet. Come on, man, you can't even play Toy Story 2 on that thing. My least favorite of all discussions. Uh, about video games is when people talk about like video games getting a 10 from a website and they go It's not everybody who holds this opinion by the way, but they go well I don't think a game should get a 10 unless it's literally perfect and no game is literally perfect So I don't think any game should get a 10 Varicose veins is pretty good Can you imagine if you're like, you know ninth grade English teacher applied that logic well, it is the best essay that we have in the class, but uh, it wasn't literally perfect, so I'm sorry, but I can't go... Well, I know it's gonna porthole your chances of getting the, into Yale, but so be it. It wasn't a perfect essay. Oh, dude. I mean, a lot of this is good, but give me restock to start with. I might be... Uh, I might be slandering your opinion. If so, feel free to fight back in the comments, but... You know, I'm I'm a believer in in game scores because I'm a I'm a believer in scores for everything. I I've, I I like the idea that there's a semi quantifiable. I know this is like a non. Uh, I don't want to say trendy because that's rude. But I, the conventional wisdom among the intelligista is that game scores are bad. Instead, it should just be you know pros with no score at the end. Um, and then you can read the whole review to get a, a timbre of the reviewer's opinion. I understand where you're coming from on that, but I disagree. You know? I like I like scores. I like the fact that I can look at a review, look at the other things that reviewer has reviewed, and be like, okay, so he likes, you know, Shadow of War about 20% less than he likes Fortnite Battle Royale or something like. Probably unlikely, but you get the idea, right? But you gotta be able to give out 10s, dude. Because otherwise, if you never give out a 10, 9 is just the new 10. What, are you saving that 10 for Super Mario Odyssey? 
Be free with the 10s when it's deserved. It. That's what I say. That's why I give every game I've ever enjoyed a 10 out of 10. Games I don't enjoy get a 5. What games get a 0? Games I'm bad at. Well, thankfully we can take this deal, even though it provided us with literally nothing of value. That floor was, like, uh, not very good. In case that's not the clearest thing in the world. Um, we're gonna see what we can get here. No arcade, of course, because we didn't come down with the right parameters. And our 7 out of 10 run is starting to bleed a little bit, like Xerxes at the end of 300. If you're calling spoilers, movie came out 10 years ago. Battle of Thermopylae literally happened in, like, the year negative 150 BC. So, like, get out of here with that trash. Hey, here's another one for you. Uh... William the Conqueror wins the Battle of Normandy. <laughs> well, he was the Duke of Normandy. William the Conqueror wins the Battle of Hastings. There's another one for you. Uh, the English used the longbow in the 100 Years War. Oh, spoiler. I didn't know Kyburn invented that yet. Please give me Shoop the Whoop. I need more Herdin' Power. Thank you. Shears, lovely. Don't get me wrong. A lot of power there. However, I think we need a little bit more like consistent herding power, and that's exactly what we got in the form of Shoop the Whoop here. I also like originally I wasn't anticipating the run requiring consistent herding power because it was looking good. Like I said, it was a seven out of ten, an honest seven. Harvard University Board of Admissions seven, just like a. A 13 by normal people's standards. Turns out, you know, you get one tears down. Start chunking a little bit of HP away because you're using your orbital like a moron. And all of a sudden, you got uh, a little bit more of a difficult situation on your hands. Shoop the Whoop's going to be very useful for us here. Don't use... My, I caught my finger almost going for that Q key to use the sun card. Highly unnecessary. That annoys me. That annoys me so much. What do you do? N NL. Hold it together. Look, that's a good item. It is a tears upgrade as well, right? It's a range upgrade. Okay. Hold it together. It was just a, a very, very dumb play. We were probably, like, very unlikely to get a deal with the angel to begin with, but... Come on, you can't just be throwing away your red hearts like that. Four and a half percent chance of getting a deal with the devil. You know what? I don't deserve a good item here. Give me a range upgrade. I gotta pull myself up on my bootstraps. That's almost like too fitting. I'm insulted, but also, I, you know, the sense of dramatic irony has been tickled. There is a tinted rock. Please give me a second secret room as well. Was that... The crack got bigger in the wall. It's like a double second secret room? You saw it. You saw it. Don't even give me that. I swear to you, the crack got bigger. And, by the way, there is... You might be thinking, the second secret rooms that it require two bombs don't exist. A new booster came out. They might exist. They recently added, like, super tinted rocks that required, uh, you know, two bombs. I thought I was just using dynamic puzzle solving to, you know, become a true genius. Please. Okay. Latch key. It's a luck upgrade. Two keys along with it. Life goes on, but we're, uh, feeling the burn a little bit here. Just, like, I don't like when I get stuck with base damage. Mind you, I'm basically stuck with base damage because I'm trying to finesse an angel deal out of this run when I don't need to, but don't I? Wasn't I, March? Wasn't I? Oh, that was a bad dodge. Worth it. Okay. If we'd gone with that deal with the, the devil on the first floor, we would be completely set. But instead, we chose to take the more noble route. Will we be penalized for our ambition? Perhaps. Still a long way to go on this run. 
No, no, he's gonna unslow any second now. Please. Please. Oh. Is this guy just forever slow? Fun room. Oh, I wish I was doing my taxes right now. Stay away from me, little dingle. Look, everything on this run is, is symptomatic of the fact that we have 3.9 damage. Let's change that. Yeah, Butterbean. Could be Wait What, but honestly, I don't care. Shoop to Whoop is still better than Wait What. I, that one was me. That one was me. I'll own up to that little inadequate dodge there. Dodged right into him, basically. Should slow down because there's no reason to, uh... There's no reason to worry about speed right now. Of course, like, the hush fight is not relevant. Boss rush is not relevant. Although, with Shoop to Whoop, if we can really up our damage, then boss rush can be pretty easy. If we can get to the point where we're just, like, you know, one-hit KOing every wave that spawns. But we can't rely on that, so... You know, our, our priority has to be number one, not getting ourselves killed by throwing away so much useless damage here. Like, we, if we were going to go strictly orbital damage, I should have stuck with Book of Revelation so we had, like, some extra uh, ability to gain HP and tank up a little bit. You know, shields up like Divinity. However, I guess there's no way for us to have known that we would have stuck with this because there's no way for us to have known we wouldn't have gotten any more freaking damage upgrades. So we got two more luck ups. Really makes like a gimpy pickup pretty swell. But of course, if we're going to make that work, um, we need to get it like not from a deal with the devil. So I don't really care about the trinket. I do care about this. It is a joker card. That's huge because we can use that on the next floor. Uh, we can use it on the next floor to get a deal with the angel if maybe we don't get a deal with the angel right here. So we'll just continue to ignore our uh, devil deals. If they show up. We're going to get Little Gish here. It's not really a, a pickup I care about. Very much. Especially because we already have Spider Bite. I'm done making excuses for like... Garbage familiars. No deal? Okay, well, we're gonna use this here then. Come on, dude. This is what I mean, you know, if there's no Mega Satan run in the cards, you can try to force it, but no guarantees it's gonna work out in the end for you. <sighs> Continue moving onwards here. It's a super bummer, but. We will have like a 50% chance for a deal with the Angel on this floor. Now the problem is we've actually just run out of time to like guarantee that we'll even get two Angel deals. Even if we got an Angel deal on this floor. Like, I'm not sure we have enough floors left to make it happen. But don't get too discouraged. You know, not every run can be a Mega Satan run. We can still get the negative accomplished here. Yeah, I shouldn't have just stood there. I think that's fair to say. How can you have a run like this? Somehow we still have, like, base damage. Slightly better than base rate of fire. Uh, and yet we've not gotten, like, HP. What are our items? We got a thousand speed upgrades. Thanks for that, because, you know... I, this is a game in which you know, I want to be Mario Andretti. Please give me HP. I need the HP. IV bag actually could be good too. Because we could abuse uh, the veins varicose. I'm just stunned. Like, normally if I if you were doing like a, a story about this run, you'd be like, oh yeah, it really stunk. I never got any damage upgrades. Be, oh yeah, one of those runs where you're like super tanky, but you can't... 
buy a damage or tears upgrade for the life of you, I'd be like, nah, the, you know, HP is also bad. Oh, probably because you took so many deals with the devil, right? Nah, I didn't take any deals with the devil. Oh, were the deals with the angel no good? Either with the deals with the angel don't exist, my dude. Look at that. Cheese the system. Bombs are key. Sure, it's okay. You know what we do have working out for us? A single orbital on the payroll. Okay. Charm tiers. Isn't that also a tiers uh, a tier cap modifier? I'm really I'm grasping for straws cuz like even that is not that good in this situation but it is at least some kind of benefit. Riveting. Okay, keep Oh, that was the shop. Okay, come back. No greed. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for at least not giving me greed. So we definitely want this. I think we got to try this. We have restock. Oh my god, we have restock. Buy these items. Okay, boss rush is going to stay open to us. Tear detonator. Battery baby. Wooden nickel. They don't make enough bad actives. We're going to get some good actives here. Keep buying them. I know we could buy spirit hearts. You think I don't know that? Plan C? What have I done to deserve this? I mean, blank card might be what we want to roll with long term. Moving box. Jar of flies. Poke go. This is like actually a terrible ass uh, assessment or assortment of items here. you telling me out of all that, no champion belt? Sure, we get blank card. No rune bag or something to go along with it? Probably would go Mom's Pearl. I could have donated that money. This is our chance. Get dusted. Okay. Deal with the angel. I like it. We want the negative. I guess we'll be fighting the angel statue. I don't want nun's habit here. I'll take seraphim. Sadly, we need that damage. I, but NL, I thought you said you uh, gave up making excuses for bad familiars. Seraphim's not a bad familiar. It's a good familiar. We got our key piece. Can't do boss rush. You know, that's honestly probably for the best. All right, we did get Poke Go. That's it. Got it. Got <laughs> it's got the potential to be like a decent enabler for us. The next booster pack, I'm telling you, man. You know what? I mean, we're s luck's good. What's more important when it comes to getting more chests on the the uh, dark room? Rusted key, which gives us more chess, or uh, a luck upgrade, which gives us more chess. I don't know. I'll go with a luck upgrade. I think it's got more potential for for benefits before the dark room, but who knows after that? Hey, next booster pack. Um, I got a great idea for you. You know, I love all these items. They're cool. Add new tier effects. That's always nice. You know, some of the most exciting upgrades in the game. New tier effects. You always get them and you go, what does this do? Would it kill you to add maybe just a couple of damage upgrades? Because I'm getting this run. It's the archetypical, you know, booster pack 4 run. We're six floors deep in the game. Lost in the sauce. No damage upgrades. It's like they stopped making damage upgrades. They broke the mold when they made Cricket's Head. Okay, I don't like broken stopwatch. It's my own fault for purchasing it, but it also was like a, a full shop reroll. Well, it, it gave us another item. Not a full shop reroll. You get the idea, though. Okay. It's a good floor. I squandered that. 
It's okay. We can now use Shoop the Whoop every room. I didn't even realize. 9 Volt was a big pickup there. I shouldn't have insulted 9 Volt by suggesting, uh, you know, that, that shop was no good for us. Because 9 Volt allowing us to use Shoop the Whoop every floor is huge. We have about a 20% chance, uh, repeating, of course, of being able to get a deal with the Angel here. We got a deal with the Devil. That's, like, extremely upsetting. Yeah, thanks for nothing. Um, we also got Growth Hormone, so our damage has finally been raised. And I'm extremely happy about that, but is it too little too late? That's up to us, honestly. I'm gonna say this is a small floor where the boss room is over here. And I'm gonna use a bomb because I hate having to go through that room over and over. But you know what? We're gonna have to go back. I don't care about that. I would like it, but if we can't get it, we can't get it. Alright, let's try up now. Worth. Okay, Broken Watch is doing stuff for us. Endless Shoop the Whoops. It's not really a great setup, though, uh, for guaranteeing you a good Mega Satan fight, because, I mean, let's be real. Mega Satan. Oh, we should have. Nah, I was going to say we should have taken Blank Card, but unnecessary. Shoop the Whoop's doing work. Um, Mega Satan is not going to die to a single Shoop the Whoop, unlike most of these trash enemies. So, uh, I don't necessarily find myself extremely confident. Not to mention, you know, we have again about a 20% chance of getting a deal with the Angel to begin with. We're making like no progress here. Oh my god, he deflected the kill shot. He's a god. Shouldn't have done that, but... Pick up the money. Not really killing it in an HP department here, are we? If we're not gonna go to the blue womb, which we're probably just not interested in, so let's be honest here. We should just donate some money. Two cents?! Does this run know no bounds in the treachery that it is costing us on a regular basis here? All I ask, you know, we've done our part. Give us this angel deal. Give us today our daily deal. So apart from this, we're going to need a joker card, like, immediately on Shoal to have, like, any chance. No! Is our... Oh, there goes our 20% chance. Hold it together. What, it, what is... What am I supposed to do in that situation? I ask you, what am I supposed to do? I lived! Is that enough? I'm feeling the burn for all those spirit hearts left behind, but the run's gotta meet me halfway at some point. Something's wrong. Amnesia. Wow. Here's what they want me to do. They want me to say, you know what? I'm okay with this. I've come to terms with the loss. They want me to give up. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to give Isaac the satisfaction. Obviously, we're not doing the blue womb. Like, are you out of your mind? Have you seen this run? Oh, I don't love... This setup. But you know what? I'm going to learn to love this setup. That's another amnesia pill, is it not? No, we don't know what it is. I thought I had two amnesias. Oh. What? I got telefragged by a skinny ghost. Oh, my lord. Probably should not have tried to force the Mega Satan archetype. But, dude. You wanted to see another mom's knife around there? That annoys me. We had every available chance there, but for now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Upside a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.